What's up, Pagan people? Drew here, and first and foremost, Happy Yule. So I'm getting ready to start doing all my Yule stuff, and I thought I'd take you along. So a lot of my Sabbath traditions revolve around birds. I have a thing for birds. I don't know if I have enough peanut butter to do what I want to do. But so I'm going to go ahead and do my, do my little Yule projects and um, we'll talk about them on the other side. Obviously, I'm coating these pine cones in peanut butter. I normally buy a cheap little container, and I'll use it for a couple of years um, because I, I keep dipping my, my knife back in it. I don't want it, anybody to use it for their sandwiches or anything. So um, this one was nearly empty, and this is my the one I've been using for I don't even know how many years it's taken me to get through it. Um, and yeah, it may go stale, but... It's for the birds. They don't really care. So once I have them coated in peanut butter, I just roll them in bird seed. Or I'm just going to throw it on top. And there we go. Those are ready for their next step, but before I get to that, I want to move on to my next bird seed project, and that's my bird seed wreath. Now, so for this, one packet of gelatin needs a fourth a cup of boiling water and three fourths cups of bird seed. And I went ahead and figured out how much bird seed I needed to fill my wreath mold. And I am using silicone because I do use a silicone mold because you can pop it out when you're done. So I'm going to need six cups of bird seed. So I need eight packs of gelatin and two cups of hot water. By the way, I apologize for my messy table. I am in the middle of preparing for festivities, making peppermint bark and blueberry bread and pumpkin bread. And there's just so much going on. It's not even funny. Okay, so I've got my hot water. I just got two cups of hot water from my Keurig. And I'm gonna add my gelatin. And then we'll work out the bird seed. So I've got my six cups of seed and I'm going to pour in my two cups of gelatin water now. Some of my gelatin gooped at the bottom. And then I'm going to mix that up. So now I've got it all. Thoroughly coated with gelatin, I'm going to put it in my mold, and then I'm going to stick it in the freezer for a little while afterward. Um, either the fridge or the freezer will work, but I am going with the freezer because, well, one, it's faster, but more importantly, my refrigerator is dead. I was supposed to get my new one yesterday, and it didn't happen, so um, only the freezer works right now.
Okay, so everything is finished. I would say it took, it probably only took 30 to 40 minutes for this. I don't know, I didn't check. Me and my daughter were making pumpkin bread and blueberry bread. Um, but So I've tied ribbons to my little pine cones, um, which I will be tying onto my cherry blossom tree outside. And here is my birdseed wreath. Now, if my tree were bigger, I would be hanging this in the tree, but my tree is still a baby. Even though she's several years old, she can't support the weight of this. So I'm just gonna set it near the tree. But here it is, my bird seed wreath that I'm gonna go put outside for the birdie. Okay, I've hung my two little pine cones and propped my wreath up. I genuinely hope that all of you have a very blessed and beautiful Yule. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, much love and gratitude.